Good morning and happy Sunday. So, we're at the first car boot of today. Just paid a tenner to get in early as normal. Um, and he told me, apparently I'm the only buyer in there at the moment. Not sure I believe that, but yeah, it's 20 to nine. All of the regular buyers can come in at nine o'clock. So let's see if I can make this 20 minutes on my own worth it. How much is your bag, please? Two pounds. How much? Three. Three. Yes. Thank you. Would you take two? Yes. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> How much are your shoes, please? How much are you? Ten. Ten. These ones? Five. Are they five as well, yeah? All right, so I owe you 10. ten. Yeah, cool. Okay, give me 15 for both. That's for the okay. two pairs of shoes. Thank you. They're size eight. Size eight. Ladies, I've never worn them. You can see. Well, put them on a foot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How much are they? Five. Five. No, flip flops. Yeah, I'll do five for them. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's five quid. Thanks, darling. Thank you. How much is the hat, please? Two. Two. There you go. Thanks a lot. You too. <laughs> How much are the sunglasses? Uh, the sunglasses? Yeah. How much are the sunglasses, Tegan? Uh, two, yeah. Okay. With the heart okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right, have a good day, guys. Thanks, you too. Thanks. How much are they? Ten. Ten. Okay. And the other boots? A bit more worn, aren't they? Yeah, uh, they're good boots. Though. Yeah. One twenty-five pound for them. Twenty. Twenty. What's the best you do for both? Twenty-five. Pounds. Twenty-five. Go on then. There you go, mate. Nice one. Thank you. How much are your shoes, please? <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm thinking a fiver. But if that's too low, then obviously it's the start of the day, so hold out for more if you want more. Yeah? Go. Yeah? Go Is that cool? Take All right. Them. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Enough of both. Yeah, no. 12? Do you reckon 12? Yeah, just get rid of them. Um, 12 for both. No, just wait. No, we'll, we'll, we'll wait. We'll take 15 for both. How much are these? I bought a few guys last time, didn't I? Yeah, oh, I remember yeah. you. And now I'm in my Crocs. And you didn't wear yours. So those are the Adidas Terex. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I'd say <laughs> they, 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 I'd say seven fifty. Seven fifty. Like, okay. You're not selling that burghouse bag, are you? Is that transporting all your stuff? No. Really? Thank you. Don't worry about it now. But when you've unpacked it, are you going to sell that bag? Yes. You are. Yeah, it's a ski boy. I used to use it for skiing. Yeah. We it's like a fantastic bag. Yeah. No, you Got don't need. Old... You don't need to sell it to me. Oh, okay. I know what it is. How much? How much do you want? I don't know. It's 
Give me a rough idea and then we'll go from there. Wow, 15 quid? 15. Okay, it's and that's 750, yeah? Okay. And I said two quid. Say so two on them, so that's 950. And then 15 on the bag. Yeah. What does that bring us to? Just shy of 25 quid. 950. 24.50. Yeah. Yeah, go on then. I'll do that. I'll give you 25. Just round yeah. it up. Do you... There it is. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Right, I'll come back when you've unpacked. Cheers. Dave remembers wirelesses. Thank you for showing it up for me. Excuse me, guys. How much are the bowls? Uh, how much? Um, how much? Um, they must have, I have no idea. What I have no idea. I was going to offer like a tenner. Yeah, go on then. Yeah. I'll give him a go for that. Right. She just got me to, to pull a pair out of the loft. There you like, go, mate. Um, nice one. A tiger, hence they like tigers. Okay. She told me she paid £300 for them. How much are your headphones? They're going to be 20 quid, mate. 20. Okay. Hit me in the middle? No, 20, 20 quid. Wouldn't do 15. I mean, you go on eBay, you pick them up about 50, 60, but. Okay. That's no, 20 quid, mate. 20 is the lowest you do. They're hardly used. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll have a think. Yeah, I'll have a think. I might pop back. Welcome, sir, mate. Thank you Are much. those bags just what you're transporting stuff in? No, no, they're eventually coming. They'll out. be for sale, will they? No. Is it? Has it got a company name on it or something? No, film, so film crew? What it is, it's, they're all film crew bags. Oh, okay. From, uh, various films. Yeah, How much that's that cool. Like? How much is the big one? That one? Yeah. Uh, that should fit everything in it. Yeah, it's got... Yeah, both straps? Yeah, it's got both straps. 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 Yeah, it's got I'm just going to grab this this one here. See, this one's got both on. I'll check inside this one. I think we might be on to a winner. Yeah, I got it. Um... Yeah, so the fibre five, on that one, and I've got the strap, Excellent. which is there, that's both yeah. of them, yeah. yeah. And then that one? Yep. Would you go tenner for the pair? Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I'll good. probably do that. Let me just have a little look in there They're and see. They're going to be a little bit more expensive, yeah. these ones. Yeah, okay. And that's a bit of a weird thing, that is. Yeah, it's a rucksack it's of some kind. Yeah. How much is that? Fiver. Five. Five. <laughs> That's just like a duffel, isn't it? That's... Go on then. Yeah. yeah, we'll do 15. Excellent. Cheers, mate. Thank you. No worries. I can use one of them to stick all of that in. All in there, yeah. That's the in the face, John. Do you have fibre? I do, mate. Yeah, nice one. Thank you. Cheers. You alright with that, mate? Yeah, I'll be alright. It seems I'm buying bags and bags and bags. Are you? How much is the head one that's crushed underneath that suitcase? A quid. To use that. <laughs> a quid. Two. Two quid. Can I just have a look at it? Is that all right? Yeah, everything works. I know. Yeah. Sometimes the lever on these goes a bit sticky and weird. It's cool to work. Yeah. Yeah. Sold. Good. Good. <laughs> all right. Two quid. You got three pounds. That's for sale, sir, yes. Have you got three pound change? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, thank you. Uh, three, that's a good score, that. Yeah. Nice one. It's only been to Tenerife. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Right, have a good day, guys. How much are the sunglasses? Um, they're pretty scratched, so they are real, yeah. five pounds. Okay. Would you do three? Yeah. They're still here in a bit. Still here in a bit, yeah. Okay, no worries. Have you managed to empty the bag? Yeah, I did. I just put it in the boot. 
Perfect, thank you. How much is that one? Tenner. It's Ten. my north face, but a bit, yeah. bit small for me now. Okay. Good quality. Yeah, it's nice. Go on then. There you go. The other one is. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Oh, well, thank you. How much are your roller skates? Uh, the roller skates, they are oh, eight quid. Eight. Do you want seven? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do seven. I'll yeah. do seven. Go on then. Carry a bag for the rollerblades. Nah, you're alright. You sure? Yeah. I mean, I've got a load of bags there. Thank you very much. The big one is small. How much are your trainers? Um, this one is Montclair. Five, yeah. five pounds. And Boss five. But other than that, it's three pounds. Okay. Okay. Would, would, would you do eight? Four and four? Okay. Yeah? Perfect. Uh, yeah. Two pounds change? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. You. Have a good day. How much are your shoes, please? How much, sorry? How much are your shoes? The, the shoes are two pounds. Two. Okay, thank you. I'm just going to put them there and make a pile, okay? Yeah. 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 Thanks. Excuse me, are they two pounds each? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I've got three pairs. Okay. Here you go. Uh, that's six. Thank you. No, it's okay. Thank you. Before I go home, I just thought I'd see if you'd do three yet. Yeah? Nice one. Do you record your, the car boot? Yeah, sometimes when I find really good stuff. Hasn't been amazing today, but do you have change? Ten pound. Sure. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Before I go home, you want to get rid of them for fifteen or not? Yes. You do. Do it. Cool. You're patiently waiting, sir. Oh, but I thought that'd be less likely. Nice one. Thank you, mate. Yes. You got a 3D TV? No. no. They're pretty cool. How much are you asking on them? Four quid a pair. Four quid a pair. I was going to say a tenner for the lot. I'll do a tenner for the lot? Yeah. yeah. Go on and I'll take them as well. Yeah. I really get on with it, to be honest. Uh, you but go, it, I mean, the technology's clever. And yeah. And it, and it does work, but. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't really my cup of tea. The black boots on the floor. Them. Um, two quid, yeah. I'll have a look. Thank you. Yeah, go on and not falling apart or anything. They're all right. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you two quid. I think I've got the right change. There you go. Thank you. Have a good day. Ish. So, back home, this is the aftermath of everything I've picked up. So I'll quickly try and run through all of the individual categories. So we've got a load of shoes, bags, little pile of clothing, um, some electricals, and then another set of bowls. First, I'll show you the bags I bought. First one being this Mammut. It's just a day pack rucksack. Just sold a Mammut rucksack for 40 on Vinted, so anywhere between 30 and 50 on this. 
then we have an all Achille uh, tote bag, handbag. I'd imagine about 20 to 30 back on that. And these are really cool. So I got two North Face duffels plus a brand new Reigns backpack off the same guy. Um, and they're all from Film Cruise. So this is a North Face duffel in size large. Um, and it's from the film Prometheus, Ridley Scott film, uh, 2010, 2011, UK and Iceland. Uh, I paid a fiver for it. Imagine 50 to 70 back on that one. And this one is from the Sherlock Holmes film crew set, 2010 to 2011 again. Without the branding, should be 90 to 100. With the branding, it could add a bit of value, um, but we'll have to see. And then I got this Berghaus duffel. This is the Berghaus Mule 80 litre. Um, as you can see here, Mule 2 80 litre, but it has the wheels and the handle as well perfect bag for traveling with i may keep this for myself but it's worth around 60 quid really nice bag and then we have this head like the old school gym bags this is the monte carlo you're between 30 and 50 depending on condition and things like that i'd imagine that that's going to be about 40 quid and then the final bag which is from the uh same guy I got the other film crew stuff from. Rain's uh, rucksack. Still brand new with tags. It's branded with The Witcher Season 3 Cast and Crew 2022. It's a gift to the people on the, the cast and the crew, people on the film set and stuff. Um, I've seen a few of these go with like a little thank you note that's signed uh, for like in the hundreds. This one doesn't have that with it. It just has this bit of paper here saying the Witcher cast and crew gift backpack still with the original Reigns bag like dust bag thing so retail was 65 so I'd imagine it's normally about 40 to 50 pounds back on eBay for it in new condition but the Witcher season 3 printed on it could mean that it's worth a bit more I'll have to do a bit of research but I'm gonna say 50 okay hay fever is actually killing me today so Apologies for the weird voice, any sniffling. I need to run through this as fast as I can because it's so hot and I can't be out here for longer than five minutes without needing to blow my nose. So, next up, I've got these Panasonic 3D sunglasses or 3D glasses even, just for at home with the compatible TVs. I've got four of these in a size medium, all brand new in box. I've seen one pair go for about 29 and someone sold a set of two for 49. So I think a hundred pounds for the four, maybe take an offer of 80. I paid 10 pounds. And then we've got Sennheiser wireless headphones, Urbanite XL wireless tested and working he said he's only used them once come with the dust bag the original box charging cable and everything really clean um, paid 15 for these and I'd hope to get back at least 60 wasn't too many sold comps but a good brand a good pair of headphones I imagine that they'll go go, go well especially in the original box next with these uh, bowls lawn bowls set of four and these are Drake's Pride Professional, size 4H here. They're in good condition, they come with a carrier. Um, I paid £10 for these, because the other two sets of bowls that I picked up recently I've done really well on. So I'm now looking out for them. Uh, and looking these up, I think I should get around 100. It could be a little bit less, like 80. So next up, two pairs of boots and some inline roller skates. These two pairs of boots here, off the same person, I paid him 25. So these are Sorrel waterproof, like a duck boot. I think they're the Cheyenne model. So hopefully 50 back on those. And then these dirt boot, they're in like a real tree camo, like a neoprene waterproof boot, warm, light. Imagine they'll have a use for someone. Like, I think these should get me about 30 quid back. 
So 25 into 80, not the best, but could be a bit more if the Sorrells go for more. But yeah, that's those two. And then these were a pretty good pickup. These are USD inline roller skates. Um, this wheel's gone, needs replacing, but paid seven for these. Um, and these should go for around 100. So even in this condition, with the scuffs and the marks and things like that and needing a wheel. So anywhere between 60 and 150. So here we have all of the shoes. Um, we'll start here. We have a pair of Adidas Terex Gore-Tex. Uh, these are like a walking, hiking shoe. I haven't looked anything up. So I'm going purely based off of what I think things will be worth. I'll obviously pop comps up throughout the video as well. So we know exactly what they will be going for. Um, but I'd imagine about 30 to 40 back on those. And we have a pair of, are these the 2090s? Air Max, so Nike Air Max 2090. Um, these are just a women's size five and a half, so won't go for loads, but between 20 and 30, I'd imagine. The laces are with them, they're just not, not laced up yet. Then we have this pair of Air Force One, like a bread colorway, uh, men's size seven. Unfortunately, the heel area on the sole is damaged, so he let me have them for a fiver. I thought I'll give them a go. Worst case, they're worth 20 pounds. They're clean, they're in good condition. It's just that damage to the sole. So hopefully 20 to 30 on those. But we have this pair of Montclair trainers. Now I've never picked up a pair of Montclair trainers before. Quality checks out and everything. I need to Google lens them, see what the model is, look at similar stuff, get them just double checked. But yeah, a pair of Montclair trainers and I paid four pound for them. So I'd imagine that's gotta be at least 40, maybe a bit more. Need a clean. And we have just a standard pair of Reebok Classics. They are a UK eight, so a bigger size, white and pink, could be worn by both women and men. Uh, a little clean needed, but I reckon 30 pounds. Could go on Vinted or Depop. Basic pair of Air Max 95, had this colorway a few times now and they always seem to hang around so i'll price these low about 20 pound just get them gone pair of adidas kaiser 5 astroturf football boots shoes trainers really good condition nice big men's size uk 10 these will fly out for 25 30 and i've not heard of this brand before but chips looked a bit different eu 43 so uk 8 slash 9 Need to do a bit of research into the brand. But I'd imagine 15 to 20 low end. And I've never picked up these DeWalt shoes before, but they're just a work shoe with a steel toe cap. Uh, paid two pounds on those, so couldn't really go wrong. They're clean and in good condition. I'd imagine 20 to 30 back. Pair of Hugo Boss, like runners, sneakers. Uh, not very nice at all, to be honest, but they do sell, so good men's size as well. I got these off the same people I got the Montclairs from. I'd imagine that these will go for around 30. Although the wear, there is some wear to the toe and stuff, so it could be 25. We'll have to see. These dicky steel toe caps, they wanted two quid, so I couldn't really say no. They look like they've never been worn, EU 43. Um, cheap work boots for someone, need some laces, but yeah. I'd imagine that's 25 to 30 quid. I've seen these before. They're like a sock. They're Nike and they are a UK six women's and they're from 2005. The lady said she thought they were yoga shoes. So I need to do a bit more research into them. They're not gonna be worth too much, but pretty cool thing to find. I'd imagine that they'll go for 15 to 20. And I never picked this brand up before. This is Miss LK. It's Lely Kelly. Looks like they do like children's and girls school shoes slash shoes. Um, these are uh, EU 38, so can fit women too. UK 5, good size, paid two pounds again. So I think my money's safe, but may only be worth 20 to 25. These were also two pounds, just some kids, mercurials, uh, football boots, size five. It's not the best size, but I'd imagine that, I don't know, 15 to 20 pound. These are nice, air, air bubbles are still firm and in good condition, no holes. There are Nike Flyknit Max, hopefully 
about 30 to 40 buck on them. Really nice colorway. Pair of Nike Hyper Venom AstroTurf football boots, size 12, pretty beat up. Ends of the laces are frayed, but they were only two quid and they're a good men's size. Should go for 20 quid quite comfortably. Finally, this pair of Nike Downshifter. They're women's, but could also fit a men's size. They are UK 7, US 9.5. Oh, look at the sun's just come out. So, yeah, a good size, really nice condition. Black and white, can't go wrong. Good running shoe, good gym shoe. Paid five. Should be looking at about 20, maybe 25, 30. Okay, so lastly, we have clothing. Don't mind the bare feet and the hay fever. But the first thing is this North Face women's bomber jacket in a small. And we have this Hampstead Bazaar. Now, I've never heard of the brand. Comps were a little bit hit and miss, but it was a fiver. So I thought I'd give it a go. Now, a few of these are a bit hit and miss. So this is a Stone Island uh, pullover hoodie in like a coral red slash orange. It's missing its badge, um, but I do believe this is legit. I will authenticate this just to be sure. And then these shorts. Again, Stone Island, missing the badge. A little bit of damage on the pocket here. Um, if I can source a badge or two, obviously it'll bring the prices up. But I'd imagine 40 or 50 with no badge. And then these were probably some fails. I will double check with the luxury pickers um, if they have time. But these are supposedly Burberry joggers with a bleach mark. Now I paid next to nothing for these, so I thought I'd just give it a punt. But I'm pretty sure they're not the real thing so there's those and then there's this which is looking faker and faker to me every time i look at it it's supposed to be a versace tracksuit i checked it over a few times some of the tags look good now i'm looking at the neck tag it looks awful so there's the stitching on the logo so i imagine this is a fake tracksuit i paid a tenner for it in a bundle but i knew my money was safe this was with the stone island bits um, these alone will sell. I paid 25 for the lot. These alone are just some Hackett chinos and I'll squeeze 15 to 20 out of them. And then I also got some trainers and stuff that I knew I'd make money on. So it's no big deal. I picked up these two shorts. So I've got a really nice Ed Hardy pair in a big men's size. I'd imagine that they'll go for, I don't know, 30 quid-ish. And then a really nice vibrant like neon coral pink uh, men's vintage nike swim board shorts again 25 to 30 on those realized i was wearing this this is a billionaire's boys club long sleeve uh really nice graphic on it uh, and i'd imagine that's going to be about 30 quid back really nice graphics on it so these are the last three items First is this Callaway golf hat, brand new. Imagine that's about 15 to 20. Then we have these D&G women's sunglasses. Lenses are a bit scratched, but I'd still imagine 20 to 30 on those. And then these were really good pickup. I didn't realize it at the time. Just found them at the bottom of a box. Eyewear by David Beckham, really good condition. And they're not prescription. They're just like fashion lenses, but clear. Um, Black and gold with the original case and dust bag still sealed. Really good condition and brand new. They're going for 170. So I think used, I'll be able to get about 80 to 100. So that was a real nice find. So yeah, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.